stone Into this world we're born Into this world we're thrown Like a dog without a bone And nectar that unknown Riders on the stone Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. This week, yes, we're doing Riders on the Storm by The Doors. This is a simplified acoustic version. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's zoom in and have a look. So there's a few chords here you might not be that familiar with, but they're fairly straightforward chords. I'll take you through them. The first chord is E minor. But you see, I'm playing it a little bit differently. I'm playing it with my third and fourth finger. And the reason I'm doing that is because then the next chord is up here. And you can see by just sliding that to the fourth fret and putting down my first finger, I've got the next chord and we slide it again. Then I put down my second finger. We've got the next chord. Okay. So as I said in the beginning, this is slightly different to the original, whereas I've kind of simplified it so you can play and sing it. Okay. And this is a really nice kind of version. I've actually used this version live and it always goes down really well. So the E minor, a third and fourth finger. Then the next chord is an F sharp minor 11 over, over an E. Okay. And all that is, is that E minor shape up in the fourth fret. And then what you do, you put your first finger on the G string in the second fret. And you want all those strings to ring out, okay? So you get this. Nice, huh? Then for the next one, you just remove your first finger, leave the third and fourth on, and then slide it up one fret, and then put the second finger down on the G string. And again, you want all those strings to ring out. Now that's a G6. Uh, uh, over, yeah, it's a G chord, but because we're not playing the roots, it's a G6 over E. Okay, don't worry too much about the names, guys, all right? So let's go through that slowly. E minor. Slide up to four, put the first finger down on the G. You've got your F sharp 11 over E. Then take away the first finger, slide the third and fourth up to the fifth fret. Put down the second finger on the G. Okay, and there's your G6 over E. And then it just goes second finger off. Slide those fing two fingers, the third and fourth, back down to the fourth. And put your first finger back into that second fret on the G string. Girl, you gotta love your man. You got to love your man. Okay. So that rhythm I'm doing to keep it as simple as possible. Down up, down up, down up, down up, down up, stop, down up, stop, down. doing to get that noise I'm not hitting the guitar hard okay I'm just resting the hand down so my strings tap on my fretboard you don't have to do it That's really nice. Now sometimes you see me doing upstrokes, that's just so I get the right feel, okay? 
but keep it nice and simple. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you'll soon get to grips with the feel, okay? So the second half of the verse goes like this. Or if you wanted to be a bit more like the record. So that's just an A minor. Then you slide that two frets. Okay, so all I'm doing to slide, I'm taking the pressure off and using the strings to slide my fingers up. So my first finger lands in that third fret. Make sure your second and third finger are in the fourth fret. Okay, and you play from the A string. That chord is now called a B minor 11 over A. Don't worry too much about the chord names for now. So, slide. Then what you're going to do, you're going to slide again. So the whole shape has gone up one more fret. So the first finger would look like it's in the fourth fret. Second finger of the fifth, the third finger or the fifth. But we don't need that first finger anymore because we're going to put the pinky underneath also in the fifth fret on the B string. And we're going to play. Okay. So that becomes a C6 over A. So again, don't hit that bottom E string. So all together. What I did at the beginning, I went back to this B minor chord, so I did. Okay, so you can alternate, it doesn't matter, but on the record it kind of sounds more like. So that last chord is the same as the previous, C6. Okay, which is like the A shape, now it looks like an A major. But then you slide that up two frets, so it lands in the seventh, okay? And you can call that, uh, that's going to be a D add two over A. So all together, A minor, slide two frets, Slide it again, but put the pinky down, get rid of the first finger. Now slide that whole thing, two frets. Okay. So all together, the, the first part of the verse and the second part of the verse. There's a killer on the road. His brain is squirming like a toad. Take a long holiday Let your children play Okay, then we've got like the resolve, okay? If you give this man a right sweet family will die So that's just D If you give this man a right or if you give this man a right sweet family will die so I'm just playing D and then C and it goes back into the first pattern
that's that kind of crazy keyboard section. And so on. I'm not going to show you that in this lesson, guys. It's a bit more advanced, a bit more complicated. But um, enjoy, okay? I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll play it for you super slow and, you know, please don't ask me for the tabs or anything because I'm making this up. It starts off on the seventh fret on the top E string. Sorry. So just keep on winding that back and pick out the notes slowly, okay? It'd be really good to train your ear. So there you have it guys, it's that easy. Riders on the Storm by The Doors. Hope you've enjoyed the lesson. Please give me the thumbs up. Don't forget I do these lessons every week, so if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget the bell button if you want those weekly updates. Any questions you have, please put them in the comment box below. Any more in-depth questions you have, please send me an email and I'll, I might even do a video on your answer. So enjoy guys and I'll see you again the same time next week. Mm -hmm.